Welcome back to Timberborn. Thank you very much for your support on the first episode. It was uh, very articulate and I'm so happy to continue. And I really uh, appreciate the fact that you want me to continue on the on this series because yay, I want to continue as well. So that is great how things just fit together sometimes. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we have a drought coming up soon. And uh, that means the first thing we need to do is absolutely prepare for that. Uh, how are we going to prepare the best way possible for a drought? Well, how about just d destroying our water supply? Yeah, that's a great idea. And and then uh, build that. So we have, a, in terms of priorities I want to do today, I want to focus on something for one episode. This one is, first of all, we're going to be surviving the drought. That's going to be a bit tough, but uh, I'm sure we can make it if we just work together. Uh, I need to have these working all the time and prioritized by haulers as well. Um that will be the first challenge. Then, uh, so we need to get more water in here and particularly we need to get more water into these locations. Yeah, these are actually highlighted as, as should be taken out first. Uh, then I want to focus on heavy industry and then I want to focus on, you can see I'm starting to move here because what is the problem with this location is that we don't have a, much room to store water before our farms and industry here so i need to bake a little basin around here that will be storing the water during uh, during the dry season it's going to be a bit of a challenge but i'm sure that we can make it we also want to try to work on getting some happy beavers into this farm so that's uh, another thing so we have a, a few tasks for us that is uh, first of all surviving a drought second of all is oh and i just so badly need these two gone i don't understand why they're not just disappearing getting prioritized instantly this should be the first priority yeah, it should be the first priority, but um, I guess other things want to come first. It's not like I have prioritized anything else, is there? No? These two are the highest priority. Anyway, uh, then I will also probably make another one down here. Uh, just an er emergency one if uh, we need it, because this little reservoir is just going to run out, so we might as well pump it out instead of just letting it run dry. We can do that. And there. Right, so if you want me to continue, you know the like button where that is and all that good stuff, but I will be focusing on trying to get this uh, running as efficiently as possible. Here, 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 and that one is finally done. Yes, so we want this big water barrel. This big water barrel takes 10 times as much as the small water barrels, so we definitely want this, and I want this to be super important, maxim maximum priority. 30 planks, 20 gears. 20 gears is the hardest part, and that's why I want this one to keep running. At this point, uh, we have a few more things. I want to schedule as many things as possible uh, so that we can just let them let them run. Oh, another thing that I want to do was down here, I wanted to make some farms. It's kind of important to make some farms. One of the ideas that someone gave me in chat was you can actually make the farms on top of these. I'm not sure I like it because it gives us a bit, give them a bit longer travel distance and longer travel distance means less time actually, uh, actually running, uh, actually uh, less farm area that they can farm down here. Uh, so we'll have two farms or two locations to farm. I will be storing not all, quite the contrary. We'll be just doing carrots and sunflower here. It's just a matter of getting enough, uh, enough uh, in here. Uh, that's going to be more. Let's just get like 100 of that and 100 of the other one. That should keep us happy. And then I will also start just getting carrots as far out as we can and sunflower as far out as we can. There you go. That should be happy. Uh, we are not going to prioritize this because we have some water that we need to prioritize as well. Uh, this will be green because of uh, the water in this location for as long as possible. So that's, uh, that's still good. Okay. I think we are... Did I just manage to not build a road in front of these? Yeah. Then the next thing we want to build, I mean, I'm, I'm scheduling a lot of builds here and then they just uh, need to get working on it. Actually, I'm going to start uh, working uh, many hours of the day just to make sure that we get that sort of, there we go. We got the warning for three days onto that. So yeah, it's kind of uh, concerning. Uh, this might be a bit much there. And I'm going to replant the berries in this area. Right, so all of this area will be uh, used for some Lido. A Lido is over here and it makes sure that they get wet fur and we want to make sure that they are happy beavers so this Lido here can be placed um, at this location. If I could just kind of prioritize a few of these like these two and I guess these two. 
Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we also have some of these to go up. There we go. And instead, I'll take that one and that one. Yes, so they can get around the corner. Good, that will be working. And then I make some platforms in the water as well. That one and that one. That one, that one. So that will be room for our Lido. Now we can build the Lido. Perfect. It's not going to do much while we are in uh, in a drought, but uh, it's it's just one more thing to build. And this will be after we build all the other things. So with three days left, we are missing seven of the gears. That's something. Uh, we would really like to get these sorted now. So let's uh, make sure that they get prioritized. And then we're kind of ready for the dry season, I guess. We might just, just out of sort of sheer panic, make a few small of these locations here just because we can and just because we have to there cool so there we are ready for the droughts uh, what are the most important things to build let's do it in terms of priority these two these are the most important things that's of course the most important things and i actually really also want to get this one in because if i get this in we can start planting and then by the end of the dry season hopefully because dry season will also get influence our the amount of water we have or the amount of um yes yeah, the amount of food we have for this so that's also a problem now at this point i think we'll just let it uh, let it run for just a bit but now the question is are we ready for the drought it is uh, right around the corner it's starting now and uh, let's see how long it's going to be it's starting here as at the break of dawn and come on little ones there we go and i'm gonna lower their working time to five days so five days and with about 60 well let's say 60 that's 360 no 180 per day so that's 900 water we need in total now i can also enable this one now and uh, what i want to do is i actually want to disable some of the ones here because we want to make sure that we run this down and we do not want to this is really weird, right? Because this is the water we have. And as when that runs out, all of our farms also run out. So we want the water to be staying in here, even though it evaporates, so that we run down our water supply that we have in storage. At the same time, there's no point in having a dry riverbed and dry forests and dry everything here when, and then have everything stored here. So we need to keep some of it in, in the, the river and to here also have built these two farms that's absolutely glorious these take four days so by the end of the drought they should be ready to harvest and yeah, that should be good they have no priorities so i'm going to set one of them to farming and one of them to planting and one of them to uh to harvesting so that's going to be like, like sort of the balance there this one is going to be always running because if we drain this little pond then that's totally fine by me uh, we have nothing else to use it for it doesn't uh, keep anything green so we'd rather want this one to run all the time we actually wanted to make sure that it runs all the time uh, in the meantime we have our lido things working and now that we don't have as many urgent things so this will be starting to be run out and i will also get this part here now we can kind of prioritize it because we don't have anything else to prioritize let's prioritize this part as well and now during the uh Dry scenes. I'll be just managing the water supply and uh, just keeping it so as balanced as we probably can here, uh, trying to keep water in our little river segment. And uh, yeah, nothing, nothing much aside from that. It's just uh, well, actually, there's a few things we can do as well, right? There's a few things like, for example, roof is something that gives us a little bonus to uh, to our happiness if they run around nearby. So if I put it here, then everyone seems to go by that location. I could also put it up to these two. I don't know if that's really worth it. We'll do it for now. I could put it up here, but that's kind of difficult to get all the way up there to that location. Uh, we still have six that are unhappy here. So right, so let's try and find some things that can make them a bit more happy. Later on, we'll also build a temple over here and some shrubberies and that kind of thing. But we got enough uh, headaches to work on right now. I did look at the progress midway through as we are here. We still have water in the basin. Not a lot, granted, that is not a lot, but I've turned off all of my pumps that are 
extracting from this location. So now the only pump we have left here is this one. We have 230 left and 1.5 days. So I think that that's actually, it's if they take 150 um, or yeah, 180 each, then I think we're actually going to be pretty good on this. So I'm going to just, let's see if I can keep the water here just until the, la the end of the drought. And then uh, let's check in when that's, uh, that's about to happen. And so the drought is about to end here. We're starting up right before the break of dawn. And as the dawn comes in, the uh, water will start flowing in. We can see that we have not used all the water here. I've been meticulously managing it. You can see we've been burning down our stockpile. So now we have very little water in our storage and also very little water in our uh, in our little river, but ultimately we kept everything happy and flowing until the end of this. We also managed to take out everything in this location. That is uh, pretty good. So uh, that's definitely saved us. Now it's time when the water starts flowing again to start up things again and uh, start filling up our reserves as well. Uh, let's get these going again so we can fill up reserves. There we go. So all of that is now going and uh, we start. Oh, look at that. The water is actually drying up right as it starts flowing in here. So we need to go get on with the next project and the next project will actually be, well, actually, you know, I can, I can just take this part out because I don't really need this water. Nah. And take this out as well. And I want to make sure that that's the highest priority because we want to build it. So we want to make sure that we now have some big water tanks here so that we can get that sorted as we move forward. And I'm definitely, oh, right. Yeah, now it's drying out and then it's coming back in. That is absolutely perfect timed, isn't it? I'm so happy about it. Definitely. So there we go. We'll have another one of these and we probably will take these out because I don't want them. And they were just for emergencies. We'll have other things that we'd rather have in this location. So don't fill up the water there. We'll have uh, layer, uh, nicer things there. That one, that one. This will take all of our planks and gears in the future. That's great. But we now have uh, time to get started. It's just getting ready for our next big project out here. So this will be our water basin that we are going to build here. And it's going to be big. Uh, what the first thing is we need a triple floodgate so we can get this here. We need to make sort of a large basin here that they can uh, they can store the water in. And the first thing I need to do is just raise the raise it up a bit. Yes. And then I think I want that location. Oops. Now here's also another little trick that I've uh, found out is that you can easily get your uh, beavers stuck by sort of having them inside here for some some weird weird way. And the way to, oh, look at that. We're actually getting happier now. Uh, the way to avoid that is trying to make sure that you build it sort of from far away. I'm going to be building the majority of it from his location. So if I start building it like this, alternate in either side, then they will not get captured because the priority will be according to the placement of them. And this will just burn through every single little bit of our wood storage here or our wood supply. There we go. And then we'll go in here and this will be harvested whenever they're ready. And then I can also build my triple here. One, two, three. That's going to be glorious. Uh, what did that take? Take some planks as well. That's going to be one of the next big things that we want to do. And uh, another big thing that we want to do is definitely going down here and uh, start working on. Ah, perfect. And uh, start working on... Uh, on our continuation of our industrial area. It's, um, we don't know exactly what we're going to be doing here, but we just know that we are going to need more industrial area. The first thing we want to work towards is getting, what is it? Uh, it's here. Explosives. We absolutely, of course, necessarily want explosives. That needs paper for some reason. So we're going to need a paper, paper factory first. We have lots of points. So let's get that sorted. Uh, where do we want that? I think I'll just make it like this. And then we get a paper factory here. Uh, we are going to make another one of these on that side for sure. And once we have the paper factory, we can make the explosive factory. And I think the explosive factory is pretty big. Uh, while it's accruing more points, let's schedule up more things that we want to do because it's all about keeping our beavers happy. They've been going through a rough time during the drought. So let's make a temple. Now, what does the temple do? Uh, the temple is going down here. And if 
it's it's pretty good. Uh, it gives quite a lot of points. It's not just plus one point. It's uh, a lot of points. Two, maybe. A lot of points. Two. And we have the Lido build. Great. We can also now make some shrubberies. They are also good. So uh, let's get some shrubbery. They're pretty cheap. Uh, we want shrubberies located at locations such as this, where they will be passing by all the time. So that's a good place location because it lots of people are going by and lots of uh, here. So we'll just build it here and there where we find some locations. Uh, basically, if they are sort of going by it, then that's a good location to build it. For example, I don't know if I can actually build it down there. Probably not. But, you know, we can also just carve out a little location here. 95%. Oh, I can't, I can't get myself to delete something that's 95% for that. That one. Let's get that out. And then we can make another little location here. And more shrubberies. They are super cheap, so just get them here everywhere. Well, everywhere, but there. That's good. And we also definitely want some shrubs over here. Uh, that could be in this location. Definitely. Get a shrub. Ta-da! Look at that. They're already increasing. Already getting happier. And, you know, this is also an excellent location to get another shrub. There. And take that out. Did we get that one taken out? No, not yet. So we are going to get more and happier and therefore more productive little uh, here. So uh, let's have a look at where we are. The roof is not really get there. Beaver statue would be nice. Shrubberies, uh, we're working on it. That's kind of the easy ones. Books, not really going to get it. Shrines, we could go shrines. Yeah? Shrines are kind of, kind of similar to small and beaver statue. Oh, it takes 30 steel. So that's not going to happen right now. But something like a little shrine would be easy to put in. We can put in some shrines here, for example. And they don't need to take a lot of space. They just, they are not sort of proximity based. They're just uh, more destination based. So if we can find some places where we want to build them, then we just uh, throw them in there. Uh, let's see. More shrines. Like that. Great. That is a lot of things we now have uh, have scheduled for building and uh, i guess we just need to well you know what we we schedule more things for building so we can get get it going and the next one we want to do is over by the explosive factory that one we still have points oh 400 points all right we are almost done with the point so we have uh i'd say we've been very effective at getting this there we go so that needs to be done that's uh, 30 blocks this is another no no blocks for that one good all right, so now that is a little uh, a little build. What we're going to do now is just wait for some of this to get built and then check back in and see how we continue with our uh, our river basin here. And a little break in here. We can see that we have now built the floodgates. We can actually start raising it just a teeny bit here and just get the first little storage of uh, water inside here. Um, and then we'll uh, continue. We don't need anywhere to go inside anymore. Uh, we can, well, maybe we do. I don't know how we, well, actually, uh, if we just get up here, as long as we take that one out, which we're going to be doing soon, then we can take all of these out. I will be prioritizing this part. I'll be prioritizing this part. Thank you. And uh, so we get that sorted, which of course means that we are not really going to get all of our strawberries anytime soon. Uh, I also decided, oh, look at that. It's it's flooding a bit once in a while, but it'll it'll be fine. It'll just water these uh, pine trees a bit. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's going to be fine. I, uh, I I know that it's going to be fine. I know it. I know it. I, uh, it's just, um, it's a bit, it's lushing a bit. It's actually a bit weird. Uh, I didn't see that. Uh, I've been, yeah, well. It'll work. I don't want to build a whole barrier here, and I don't think I need it. Anyway, I uh, also built a few more of these locations, and I am definitely going to need that for sure. And I also definitely need this one. Uh, this construction is too far away from a road. That is just not correct, is it? Oh, it is actually. It is correct, because I'd have to... Wow, that's kind of annoying. There we go. We'll have to do it that way. So that's going to be needed in order to get that done. That's fine. And in the meantime, we are going to be building this one and continue to move it forward. Now we have another drought incoming already. But luckily, we have also built this reservoir up to at least level one. So now we can just spend some time on filling it up 
and this will give us just a little bit more uh, a little bit more water for our next drought and combined with these big here then we absolutely should not have any problems with uh, maintaining or uh, living through the drought uh, what i want to do is uh, again i want to show the way that i want to do it in that is basically whenever the drought starts we are going to just shut down these ones as much as possible and there we go the drought started and then we shut down so that we basically run this down as efficiently as possible there we go we'll go to a more more manageable speed this is now a six day and we'll get this back online now during this drought we can of course extend this which isn't really going to do anything right now but it's still a good idea to get it done so that we are ready for when the drought ends and then we can have even more storage and there we go. So this one is here. We can then lower this when we see that the level of the water in this part drops down. Then we can get it. Uh, uh, then we can just uh, let it go down again as well. So uh, just let a bit more water in, so we keep things nice and fresh all the way through the drought. Uh, this means that during the drought, we can then have other things that they can take care of. They can take care of all the food, all of the farming, all of building up reserves for more logs, all of that stuff. Uh, but maintain, basically also uh, get started on some of these things that weren't really being done during the uh, during the other part. Uh, because upgrading this part here is kind of relevant because nothing is... Yeah, they're not going to be doing anything about it. And we had a bit of a rush be heating here. So let's uh, just quiet down and just endure the drought while uh, building some of the more aesthetic buildings like shrines and shrubberies and temples as well as hopefully also get some work on the explosive factory and the paper mill the paper mill is working uh, getting closer that's the gears working here uh, the gears factory is barely barely dragging along because of the because this one is the only power we have so that's a uh, well it'll be slow but it'll be progress so now here the water has dropped below a level that this uh, the lido cannot work so we will use that opportunity to just uh, lower this wow that was perfect timing it just noticed and we just let a splash of water through not more than that and that should get us get things at least green again it's not going to be much and i'll be disabling a bit more of the pumps because we're still maintaining 700 and we don't really need that much so we'll disable it so we only have one pump here uh, these don't really get enough water to yeah, but at least they get enough water to get things green again. And that's the most important part. Uh, we could also, at this point, even let it go like the next tier down. Uh, I think actually three and a half days. Looking good with our with our water supply. Um, this is three days is 720. No, four days is 720. So we don't really need to pump anything from here. So let's just keep it and then wait for this one to dry out. And when it dries out, we'll just let the last splash of water go in here and our temple is now completed look at that there everyone's going into the temple right now that is a lot of uh, temple goers they are very religious but this great temple here is going to i am sure give a nice buff for us pretty soon as soon as uh, that gets going here um we look at this and if we look at the temple it's already giving us 1.6 additional happiness here and what is that? Okay, it's because the Lido is not working right now that it's uh, it's decreasing. So this is just compensating for the Lido. But it's up to 13, so when we are done with the drought, it'll be great. That means now they start working on the shrubberies. You can see the first shrub is in here. Uh, and the next shrub is getting ready to get done. So with all the shrubs done, we should also get this one done here. It's needing two gears. And of course, the gear factory is working super slow here. There we go. Now we see the goals coming in here. That's... One of the main stated objectives was making a water basin, getting more on the heavy industry, and then getting them uh, more happy. And of course, the droughts are kind of, uh, yeah, kind of uh, just uh, making it our life a bit more difficult, as the drought should be kind of the enemy of the game here. Uh, so that's, uh, I'm, I'm super happy with the progress so far. Let's uh, get this one going. We want, really want to get this. We just need two more gears, and they are going here as well. So. Uh, let's get the gears get the paper factory working once the paper factory is going then we can get the explosive factory which obviously also needs more gears so we need to end the drought as well uh, but things are progressing we're up to 14 15 now yeah this is what we wanted to see this is definitely one we see look at that 
Only half of them are there and it's uh, 2.6 already. So temple, definitely worth making. Uh, what about the shrubbery? Shrub, shrub, shrub. Yeah, shrubbery is good. Roof is good. Beaver statue, we don't have that. But I also don't want to spend 40, uh, 30 on that yet. As we're now coming to the end of the drought, this is looking pretty good. We have water in our river. We have been uh, lowering this one a few times. We can lower it just a little bit more. It doesn't get any more in because it has evaporated in here. So this is still looking good. We've been working on all of the shrubs in the, in the base. So we have now lots and lots of shrubberies. We have shrines here and there and they're being used. We have a temple as well that's being used. So all of those things should add up. We're at 18 right now. And uh, when the Lido comes back online, I'm sure that we can get even more. We might even go so far as to take uh, like a massively extra one here just because we have the opportunity for it. And I want to place that uh, I can place it like there, or I can place it in this location here. I might even take this one out and take that statue here and then make the grill in the other location instead. Kind of weird that I wanted to do that, but I'll do that. And that's the grilled potatoes. I want this one to be high priority and I want this one also to be high priority. That means it comes before any of this additional construction. We don't need that right now. Uh, we just need it before the next, the next drought. And also right down here, we have the paper factory is done and I'll be prioritizing the paper factory and we are just in the process of working on this. And of course, it's the gears that are still holding us up. So it'll take a bit of the bit more time to get the gears up and running as well. We could uh, actually, instead of doing that one, we could take a little uh, expansion out here. That seems like a good opportunity for us to do that. And yes, we'll just deconstruct again more of our farming area. That's okay. Uh, but the farming area is now moved down here, and it's I I still think we have a lot of, of food for uh, for our our build, and we have here the drought has ended, and we should see yeah water is flowing and it's will start to fill up. We should have the lidos coming back online. That's really gonna be nice. And as we get that, like, you know what? I also need to take this out because this was where I actually wanted to have have another shrubbery. Good. So again. Let's uh, keep it keep it flowing a bit and get the, this one up and running. Once we have that, the reason why I'm placing it here is because it'll affect everyone who goes in the temple. That's a lot. It'll affect everyone here. It'll affect every single one of them sleeping because this is the only place they sleep. So it's high rise. So every, one, every time they sleep, they will be affected by the labor monument. And I think that's a good idea in general. And here it is. Wow. The beaver monument is now there. And as they say... I mean, of course. And look at that. Already we are up to 20. That was basically my goal was to get us up to 20. Uh, 20 happiness here. And that's absolutely glorious. Uh, so all we need to do now is getting this part uh, this part done. And also our, our explosive factory. And we'll end up with just the first explosions coming into the base. That's uh, definitely going to be the first, first thing we want to do. Uh, you know what? We might also want to top up our water supply. Otherwise, bad stuff is going to happen very, very soon. Uh, this is just a new an expansion we want to get here. We'll take that out and then I will build some more stuff. We'll have another gear factory because we clearly need more of that. And I'll have another one of these. And, you know, I'll still, because there's just that little room for it, I'll still do... Oops, that was the wrong way. I'll still get the hamster wheel, that one, and finish up with a road in front. And should I prioritize this? I mean, I'm gonna, right? I'm, I'm gonna end up prioritizing anyway. Now we'll keep it like this and uh, keep prioritizing on this part over here, which I'll be increasing here. We have our explosive factory done and we are starting to work on it. So now we can finally get the explosives, the whole point of what we were doing here. So what I want to do is I want to explode this away as the first thing we want to do. Uh, this gives us just a bit more space around here to to work on it. So we will get our first explosives done. And uh, once we get these explosives ready to go, that will be sort of the climax together with the completion of this location. And uh, next up, just so you uh, you're coming back for the next episode, will be expansion into a new district and making canals and that kind of thing. Uh, but this was just uh, make sure that now we can be pretty durable uh, for, for upcoming droughts. Uh, let's have a look here. We need to get this one done and this one done. And then we'll uh, blow things up 
and have a go out with a bang. And we are finally coming to the end of this uh, this build here. And also that just in the nick of time here, we are really, really in uh, in trouble. Uh, come on, you, you can do it. You can do it. It's really highest priority. Someone's got to go go in here. Yeah, there we go. There they, here they come. As soon as we do that, we can uh, raise this. And you are building. Perfect. And now I can raise it up to two and a half. Perfect. So we have a ton of water that's ready for uh, us to go. And uh, down here, we have the final bank to go up. And that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It went a bit long, but I think it was uh, worth it. We got the three big things, surviving droughts, uh, got two explosives, and we got a massive uh, water reservoir as well. Plus level, well, it was up to 23 at some point. Let's detonate. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay explosive.